Yeah, Lady Eagle is a living Oh, yeah. All right, so we got you and the tree. And go. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Indie Dreams on That Hell Life Radio. And today, I have a special guest, Tatanisha Ta- Harrell. Yes, that's me. How you doing today? <laughs> I'm well. How are you? Thanks for joining me. Good. Thank you for having me. Definitely, definitely. So, Tatanisha is actually an artist manager and manager of Get Guap Promo. Yes. Yes. And True Music Entertainment of Newark. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, tell me a little about that. So, um, mm-hmm. True Music Entertainment, actually, mm-hmm. um, TME, uh, started with Jay Wonder. He started it in school mm-hmm. with a bunch of friends, but he was already an artist that was working at the time. Um, and he was about 14. He was 14 he when was he started? He was 14, mm-hmm. yeah. So, he, um, he had friends that wanted to be a part of his little thing. Or at least they thought it was not that serious. <laughs> right. But it mm-hmm. was serious. If they were going to be involved, they had to be as serious as he was because he was performing everywhere. He mm-hmm. was, like, his music was getting registered and everything like that. So it was a business. Right. So um, what I did was, um, as his mom. Oh, um, you're his mother. I'm his mom. Okay. <laughs> mother and manager. Yeah. I'm his mom. You learn something new every day. Right. <laughs> you, you, didn't you didn't know that? I didn't know that. The really? one I did not know that. If you yeah. look at his face now, you'll yeah, see now my I'm face. Like, as I'm looking, like, yeah, that's, yeah. that's you. <laughs> that <was> his mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so as his mom, I, like, I went and awesome. took these courses. Like, Kevin Lyles gave, like, a, pro, a workshop. Who gave the workshop? Kevin Lyles. Kevin Lyles. Yes, he gave a workshop down in Philly. Um, I took the workshop. To become a because manager? They, yeah, because, I, you know, if I was going to be working with this kid, I was mm-hmm. like, and I wanted them to be great because he was super quiet. Right. I didn't know what I was going to do with him. Mm-hmm. So my girls were outgoing. Mm-hmm. They were fun. He used to draw, so I thought that was just what he was going to do. Mm-hmm. And my oh, daughter was think. like, yeah. Mm-hmm. My daughter was like, no, Mom, you need to really listen to him because he's good. And I'm like, oh. So I'm like, no, you really gotta listen to him. So I listened to him, and I'm like, I became a fan. Like, Jay Wonder, Jaque was my son, mm-hmm. but Jay Wonder was an artist I would really pay to go see him. Yeah. So I and was I, and like, I heard, so we were trying to get some of his music on, yeah. but you check it out, Jay Wonder. Or he's I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. No, 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 no. I'm <laughs> just telling, telling the viewers to check Jay Wonder out on, uh, he's now. Okay. He's, um, on all platforms. Um, all platforms. Jay Wonder, J, the number one DA. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he actually, um, I went, I took all these classes and everything, said, okay, I don't want to fail him as a manager, so I need to know what I'm doing. <laughs> right. And um, I'm smart to do. Yeah. Because a so lot of people, they go. They jump up and be like, today I'm a manager. Right. Yeah. And they don't educate themselves right that, so. so i'm googling online i'm mm-hmm. going to these workshops and things like that and then he had true music entertainment but i you know i was still learning i didn't claim to know everything mm-hmm. um and i didn't register true music entertainment because i was still trying to learn everything else oh so you didn't register no uh-huh. so i'll tell you what happened so uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so tme we branded it i'm i'm going all over the place i'm um, he's doing shows down in Atlanta. He's doing shows in Texas. He's everywhere. Uh-huh. Meanwhile, branding the heck out of True Music Entertainment, you, right? right? TME all day. We got mm-hmm. logos. We everywhere. That's Actually, funny. shout to Samaya Savage because he did our first actual logo. Okay. Um, the logo we have to di- to this day is Samaya Savage created Samaya it. Savage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So um, we went. Um, and then at the years go on, Jay Wonder actually won. They had Jersey One Shot mm-hmm. here in New Jersey. They did the final um, show after six months down at Symphony Hall, and Jay Wonder won Jersey One Shot. So he won, he won oh. after all these months so of going through it's like this hundreds point. of artists. Yeah, he mm-hmm. actually won. Mm-hmm. He did. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then finally, when he won, it was like we were like this, mm-hmm. and then he's a little older now, so it started to become like this. Oh. So me, I'd rather be his mom than his manager. So, so I you said, kind of yes, I let him rock for a minute. Like, okay, we're gonna see. You need mm-hmm. a little bit of rope to hang yourself. But you so. can still offer advice. Huh? Trust and believe. Yeah. I was, I he was, I was, I, I was there. I was there. I was there. But he went and he um, mm-hmm. actually went and owned, got ownership to True Music Entertainment. So he's the owner now. He owns True Music Entertainment. Oh, wow. So I work for him. <laughs> <laughs> he took over the joint. Uh, 
go ahead. I work for, I, for I, I, I can honestly, before I used to be like, I don't work for you. Like, <laughs> what? You just, yeah. what? No. Mm-hmm. Now I can honestly say I, I work for I'm proud don't tell my son that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a proud thing though to say. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So um, he owns that company. It's an LLC. Right. And um, so team. what type of artist does he have under his? So um, <laughs> he's now like he had. Um, I don't know if you know an artist Eating Lane. Eating Lane. Eating Lane. You remember Eni? Yeah, Eni was with uh, True Music. Um, he had a co- he had a few artists, but he had um, artists, um, singers, poets, poets. rappers. Mm-hmm. He, yeah, had a lot of people in there. Yeah. Okay. So, so what would one have to do to get it to um, get under his music? Um, his company. Well, that's a conversation with okay. with, with, with him and me. And now it, there's an uh, another team that. He has uh, connected with us, mm-hmm. so and I just learned that last week. So sometimes I'm in the dark because remember I I'm an employee. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm no longer. She has to say employee. <laughs> I'm an employee. That's great. And I so, love it. Mm-hmm. Right, so it's kind of cool. Like he, he a yeah. little rough sometimes, yeah, like, but yeah. you know you gotta pull back and be like, wait a minute, I'm your mother, mother. Like. <laughs> So, oh so we'll get more into the company, the music company. Mm-hmm. But first, I, I mean, I also want to talk about today. You had an interesting story. I did. Have today an you story. were um, you had an event. That yes. You, what happened? So I was I took I, and it was an honor. Mm-hmm. Um, today I was a stage manager at Symphony Hall for the honoring of um, of oh, goodness. I, I think I've been crying all day. Oh, really? <laughs> of Dionne Warwick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah she, was a, she was a good singer back in the day. Oh, my God. Her voice she, is beautiful. Yeah, her voice is so beautiful. She was And amazing. that's why I um I had the picture mm-hmm. up there with Dionne. Mm-hmm. She yeah. is, Dionne Warwick, she's the, um, she's, um, she's the cousin of, um. Of Whitney. Whitney Houston. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. And so Sissy was, was there too. She came. She was in she the was there? Yeah, she came too. Um, it was an actually it was a very awesome event. Mm-hmm. Um, Leah Janae sang. I was I saw her on your Instagram page. Leah, Leah sang. Um, she was actually a special guest. She wasn't even on the program, mm-hmm. and she came in. And of course, you already know she blew it out the water. Oh yes, her voice is awesome. <laughs> shout out to Leah Janae. Shout out to Leah. And Janae. she's from Newark too, right? She's from Newark. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, they also had. Um, uh, Adad, 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 Adaja, Adada, Janae. Mm-hmm. Apologize for not having that. No, name it's okay. Right, but mm-hmm. yes, there's another young lady. She's 14 years old from Newark. Mm-hmm. Um, they had uh, the, the gospel uh, dance uh, steppers. Right. From the, the city of Newark. Yes. The they, steppers? Yes, they were oh my God, they were amazing. I was crying. <laughs> I you was just crying. crying. I, I was crying. The man kept walking after a while the guy walked up and said, You cry one more time and bring you a towel. <laughs> <laughs> so, um and then uh Oh. We have a caller? Yep. Hi. Hi, who's the caller? Oh, 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 no, thank you. No, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. Okay, okay and then... phone um, lines are open, by the way. Okay, right. so the phone lines are open. What's the number? 973-400-8457. Call in. 973-400-8457. Mm-hmm. Call in. Good. Okay. Yes. Oh, my memory is crazy. <laughs> that was good. That was <laughs> um, And Melba Moore. Melba Moore closed the show. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it was yeah, excellent, yeah. amazing. Of, yeah. And then you said Dionne Warwick had the key to the city. The the mayor gave her a key to the city. Actually, um, she must have had about seven um, di- dignitaries gave her um, some type of um, accolade, mm-hmm. I mean, these awards and things like that. She has this one medal that. Um, from my understanding, only ten people have ever received this medal from the city. Yeah. Um, she received that, and sh- that I think was better to her than the key right. <laughs> to the city. She she was just excited mm-hmm. about that. Um, shout out to President um, Madam Mildred Crump, who actually gave her all of those awards from each one of the people. Senator uh, Booker mm-hmm. sent one. Um, she uh, so the Grammy Booker Museum, sent her, sent yeah, her. centers, yeah. He sent her uh, no, um, a gift, oh, and so awesome. did um, uh, 
the Grammy Museum. They were there. That was so They awesome. gave her. Yeah. And I wish I would have came. I, I couldn't make it today. Yeah, I wish car. you would have yeah. came too. How I do you make come, out? So it, it, it worked out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I came and got it at three o'clock, but it was. I wanted to take pictures and I wanted to go yeah, live. That it would have been awesome. It would have been awesome for you to be there. It mm-hmm. was definitely the place to be today, and it was cool. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, yeah. it was 100 degrees outside, but it was cool. It's <laughs> so hot. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Sea <laughs> wave. <laughs> I don't know who this is, but the last one, I won't even tell y'all. Okay. Hub so. Life, Hub Life Radio. Okay. We're not going to answer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Y'all. So, yeah, it was a heat wave. So, thank you. Now, I know you talk a lot about being a part of the mayor's office, mm-hmm. and um, you're a part of the Division of Arts, Culture, and Development and Tourism. Yes. Arts. Mm-hmm. Cultural development and tourism with the wonderful Gwen Moten. Okay. Hi, Gwen. Hi, Hi Ms. Moten. Hi. <laughs> so, what um, are you? What are your so, with um, I'm in the office with Ms. Moten as um, a produce a production manager. A so, production manager. um, yeah. So, anytime like she has events, which she always does, mm-hmm. um, I'm always on the scene for her. So, I'm helping. So, you're doing with, event coordinator. Yes. Event so, manager. most of my day, I'm spent sitting at the desk just helping um, <laughs> organize a bunch of events that's happening. So, mm-hmm. um, her office has, you know, a lot of those different art. Things going on So anything has to go through her So tell me about your newest event And she gave me this cool flyer right here yeah. Thank you Thank you. welcome For her event that she's doing now Positive Music Matters Positive Music Matters Positive Music Matters We're actually going to take up every Thursday mm-hmm. In um, August right. That is the 1st, the 8th, the 15th, the 22nd, and the 29th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., mm-hmm. we if it it would they usually this is not the first one. Usually, um, so they've been a doing series a of it's a series of concerts. Mm-hmm. So this has been going on for um, several years. Um, my first one that I attended, um, Grace. I don't know if you've been to it when Do It All did it. I don't think I was that was the first time I did when Do It, Do it All did the series and brought yeah. Red Man and Smith and Wesson and all so of Red them. Man was so yeah, so they did it. Um, Rod, Rod Digger has done it. Mm-hmm. Um, last year, Roxanne Chate did it. Shout to my sister. Yeah. And so then you lot, so you have several different artists in the area. Yeah, that they mm-hmm. did that. They did this particular event every year, and mm-hmm. then this year I had the honor of doing it, of putting it together. So what would one have to do to be a part, to be an artist, be featured in this, one of the concerts? So, um, usually the artists show up, <laughs> but I didn't want it that way this year. I want it to where, you know, I don't want anybody to come out and be like, oops, I didn't know I couldn't curse or talk about this. So it was me, a conversation. Like what I did was I went out to um, Vibes in the City. At La Rouge, I heard, oh, um, I heard of that. Yeah, mm-hmm. shout to shout to Vibes in the City, city shout to Bleak, mm-hmm. um, and I went there um, twice actually to kind of get some artists to let artists know that this is something that we're doing, mm-hmm. um, so and explain the event exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, and because a lot of the artists try to figure out how can they touch these stages that are right, outside exactly. in the summertime, mm-hmm. and a lot of the people in their communities can actually see them, so they'll be able to perform. And yeah, have a crowd, the yeah, platform like already ha- available for them. You have things like Lincoln Park, and everybody's like killing themselves to get on the stage. Yeah. Um, it, it becomes like like, and they have a lot of ar- artists. That they have a lot of artists. Year. Yes, it's, it's, so it's a big deal mm-hmm. to try to touch these stages, no matter which one it is. Like we have the Occupy the Block tour as well, mm-hmm. which um, shout out to Mayor Raz J Baraka and DJ Little Man yeah. for that event. I saw that event. Yes, yeah. so that's still going on. Mm-hmm. Um, but Things like that, so so that the, the, there's a lot of different things happening for the community. But these, in particular, the, the city of Newark actually has a lot of great talent, talent yes. from DJs to poets, producers dancers, to poets to yeah. dancers. That no matter what it is, and Newark is full of it. And that's pretty what your, di- your and, division handles. Yep, they, we handle that. So mm-hmm. we try to highlight those things. Like this year. For Positive Music Matters, we're going to do something that we we haven't done, like put poets on the stage. Okay. Um, and I know a few poets I may have to Yeah, oh, way. please, yeah. please do. Mm-hmm. That was the hardest task yeah. is actually she needs find poets, so. poets. Yes, <laughs> to find poets that, you know, I don't mind you talking about yourself and things, you, but we want to hear the good part mm-hmm. of those right. things because mm-hmm. a lot of people have some deep things that they want to talk about, and it's hurt, but... 
it's called positive music. Right. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So you get where I'm going with it? Yeah, where's the solution in that? Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. I got Khalil Gibran is actually oh. performing for Positive Music, music Matters. Music. And that was great for me because his story is amazing. Oh, mm -hmm. he I is literally, I know I'm talking a lot because I know Tatanisha. Tatanisha, right? Yes. <laughs> I, I, when I first saw him, or I was going to have him on my show, right? I had mm -hmm. to research him. I found this one video of him doing the um, uh, F12 song. Right. And it was done like live in like some intimate setting. I'm telling y'all, I was in tears. Yes, really. What in was he talking tears. about? The song, talking about it. the song itself is it looks like a, a mo like a earth changing. Movie. Yes. Okay, oh, wow. so he's doing this live and he's in the crowd. I mean, I can just feel every emotion and every wow. moment Absolutely. of that. Absolutely. So sight unseen. Never met the brother before in my life. No. And when I finally met him, he didn't make it to the show because he had to work. But when I finally met him, I mean, I embraced him. So and he Absolutely. he knew what that, he knew what that meant without That's question. That's awesome. That, and you're crying now. I'm, you see me right? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. 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 Really so crying. Cool. He just <laughs> the story is amazing. So yeah. that's a perfect. Yeah. And what's his name again? Uh, Khalil, Khalil, uh, Khalil Gibran. 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 Khalil Gibran. You gonna hear that name? I'm telling you. Definitely. You Yo, so everybody, stay tuned for Khalil yeah. Gibran. Please, please. Up and coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's amazing. actually um, uh, the label three. Oh was it three hundred? No, it wasn't three hundred. I can't, I can't There's a label that's that Rock Nation. He was yeah. at Rock oh, Nation. Rock Nation, right? Under Jay Z. Yeah, he yeah. was. Yeah, he was there last year. Jay Z. They, oh wait, Jay Z just actually ha had someone under Rock Nation. Yeah. What was his name? It was I, uh, the guy he just put under Rock Nation? Was his name was similar to Jay Z okay. just recently? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't think of that. Yeah, and it come to me, but mm -hmm. yeah. So it's a lot of people that were that are like, like currently looking at him. But like I said, the roster for this year's um, Positive Music Matter. I, I, those artists were selected for a reason. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. um, it, it's quite a few people in there. A lot of people that I felt like should have really been touching the stage. Like this, Felicia George, you know her? Mm -hmm. She's amazing. She has a band that follows her. She's great. Mm -hmm. um, there's, of course, Jay Wonders performing. Jay Wonders. Um, you, have to, you have him there, right? <laughs> Killer Kurt Cobain is making a oh, mark wow. right now, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. He yeah. was at the BET Awards. Mm -hmm. yeah. He, this kid. I've him on my show twice. Why? And I don't he care. I'm going to have him back again. Because oh, he just keeps coming God. with it. He, he's incredible. He's killing them right he's now. incredible. He's yeah. killing them right yeah. now. He did um, Summer Jam and did the very <laughs> first out of his own pocket. Yep. The very okay first Jersey club stage. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He killed it. Mm -hmm. So Kurt Co Killer, Killer Kurt, Kurt Cobain. Cobain. Mm -hmm. Yep, him. He's That's amazing. Insane. He's yeah. amazing. So Chad B, shout to Chad B. Chad B is going to be there as mm -hmm. well. Uh, Melba is performing. Uh, Sharissa the Violin Diva. Mm -hmm. She's dope. Um, shout to DJ No So. He, he, just shout to DJ okay. Noso. But he's the actually camera Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> Noso's actually gonna be on DJ DJ Hollywood from Hot Ninety Seven. Mm -hmm. Um, shout to him because he really didn't even have to come out um mm -hmm. for what he did and he did. Um he'll be out. Um what is it? Uh Jay Charisma, uh Kennedy Flo, um oh my god, the list goes on and on and on and on. It's it's quite a few artists. Charlie B. Shout out to Charlie B. You know Charlie B, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. You Charlie know some, B. You know some hitters, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. Right. Charlie you, B. This one right yeah. here. That's why I, I, that's why I invited her on. And yes. I saw how many yeah. artists she knew. And I knew she was going to give some good she, advice for the other One thing about artists. this industry is you have to have a good relationship. And right. when I tell you there's good people, mm -hmm. it's good people. Right. Uh, and you have that. to really see I that, saw that through mm -hmm. all of this stuff. Because it looks real fancy. It looks real cool to be But it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And when I see her, I always see her working. I never never see her off. Thank There's you, never Grace. off. And day. I saw her page, and I'm just like, wow, this woman yeah. is amazing. She's amazing. <laughs> yeah. She's amazing. Thank you guys. And she's young. She has spring chicken. Okay, <laughs> out here popping. Well, her son, <laughs> well, her son manager. Her, okay, <laughs> right. I can't get over that. Dad just flipped my whole. Yeah. She told him everything he knew. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. He and you know what he told me that I remember. Right. Hey, um, he did an interview you there. Did? Oh and yeah. I, oh. I actually sat there, and you know, I usually sit in the background and I listen mm -hmm. from time I'm dozing. Right. But I'm sitting there and I'm listening, and it was crazy because we had an argument in the car on the way over. But mm -hmm. you never see that when he's going through his interviews, mm -hmm. and he actually talks about me. Mm -hmm. So this one particular interview, I will never forget it because when they were talking about him, it's like, okay, so Jay Wonder, you know, you did this, da, 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 da. Right. and he was like, he was explaining. Number one, the name Jay Wonder. 
um, where it came from. And he also talked about the brand, Jay Wonder, because, right. mm-hmm. of course, he's a brand. Right. He's a business. Of course, it's a business. Right. And he said, but my mom is like, that. that's, that's it all. Like, I, I, I played a huge part yeah. for him. And I never just sit up there. I'm like, when we're having, I'm like, I'm your biggest supporter. You right, can't do right, this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. he said yeah. that in the interview that we are Jay Wonder. Mm. That was that statement mm. will probably stick with me to my grave wow. because I never thought that he felt like wow. that. Like we are Jay Wonder, mm-hmm. and I thought that was wow. so super dope. I don't care what he ever says. Yeah. I don't care what he does in his music. Yeah. I don't care. That's if you ever wrote another song yeah, about me, yeah. that statement meant everything to me. He's he awesome appreciates kid. you. He's yeah. an awesome kid. Because I always say he doesn't. Mm-hmm. But that statement mm-hmm. will forever mm-hmm. stick mm-hmm. with me. I don't care how mad, whatever we go through. Yeah. We are J. Wonder was big for me. Wow. Hey. wow. On that one, y'all want to get into a track? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, let's get into a track, guys. I Listen to J. Wonder. It. Okay, so I'm, she found it. Jay Wonder, she's about to play one of his songs. What song? Do um, this one's called "No Smoke" featuring Samaz. Ooh, right. yes. Let's get into mm-hmm. it, y'all. We're back, we're everyone, back, everyone, and we're here with that was Jay Wonder. Jay Wonder, yes, with Tatanisha Harrel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, guest today song we just played was Jay Wonder, No Smoke, featuring Samad Savage. Oh. Shout out to Samad Savage. They don't want to smoke, smoke with those two. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, he's awesome. So that, so that's his company. Is what she was talking about yes, mm-hmm. true mm-hmm. music entertainment. Mm-hmm. All right, so. We were talking about the, your your recent Positive Music Matters. Mm-hmm. Tell me about um, the title, Positive Music Matters, and why you titled it that. So I didn't. Again, um, Positive Music Matters is an event that's been happening for several years. Um, but it actually stemmed from, there's a magazine um, company called um, po- is it Positive, Positive Community. Mm-hmm. So they had something to do with the behind behind the name Mm -hmm. so it it had everything to do with like they had the magazine and and it and it 
actually it tied into they got with Ms. Moten and they decided that okay so if we're going to do if she's going to do something it had to be like a little bit different than what they were doing usually with these events in the city like mm -hmm. anybody could get on the stage and you probably could do just about anything but how about doing something that's just strictly speaking to mm -hmm community the community and, and being we, positive right we and we stress this so much because you know even with my son my son is 11 years old mm -hmm. and um a lot of the music that he listens to they talk about depression all the time absolutely you know when you talk about um drugs and me being a drug counselor right you know, i know how 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 it affects our community mm -hmm. you know what i mean so yep. It, it is a it's a turn to be able to see something positive and see artists that want to put something positive out there. And the thing about it is when they select the different wards, because it, it's in each ward mm -hmm. in the city of Newark. So you have the north, the south, the east, the west, mm -hmm. and the central ward. And what they do is they pick the com the communities that are in those in each one of those wards that are having the roughest time, that have those, you know, doesn't have the best energy mm -hmm. right and if it, even if it's just for those three hours they can have to just, just have something positive awesome. happening That's right so then awesome. and there mm -hmm. so we shut down all those things for those three hours and you know um kudos yeah, because definitely. during those three hours i've never heard anything happening in those areas like you have the the, wow. the people that are coming out. You have them engaged. Yes, they're engaged. They're coming out. They're enjoying the food, the music. Mm -hmm. They're talking to each other. The kids are playing. You know what I mean? Um, and the vibe is real. And the vibe is real. Right. You know what I mean? So, so come out, guys. Come out. Definitely come out. To the concert. Definitely come out. So, and again, Positive Music Matters this year. Let me see your, um, this year, Positive Music Matters um, is going to be August the 1st. It's going to be in the North Ward on Wakeman Avenue and, and Arlington Avenue. Um, and in, on August the 8th, Brunswick Street and Murray Street in the South Ward. Uh, August 15th, Liberty Park, Chestnut and Hennessy Street in the East Ward. Um, August 22nd, West End Park, 100-104 West End Avenue in, in the West Ward. And August the 29th, Montgomery Street and Barclay Street in the Central Ward. And um, if you have any questions, concerns, or if you are uh, artist that is interested in being involved, mm -hmm. um, even if you're um, someone that just has a lot of good information, because um, we have an information table that we put out there as well. Oh, yeah. What, how do you contact? No, you just okay. reach out because you can still put the table. Like, we don't have vendors where you can come out and people have to spend their money and everything because it's a free event for mm -hmm. the community. So, um, like, even with the artists, if you're so going to come no out excuse. there... There's right, no excuse. <laughs> if the artist is coming out there, like Kurt Cobain, there's a store that that actually um, that that brand that's actually sponsoring him. They're coming out and they're doing giveaways. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Trouble? Yes, they're coming out and they're doing giveaways. Give Chad B is giving out sneakers. Let me tell you something about, about, yeah. about Killer Kurt Cobain. I'm a fan. Okay? Yes, <laughs> I said I'm a fan. I'm a Facts. fan. I've been following yep. his brothers since he was on YouTube and mm -hmm. then some. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm, I'm a fan of him. Yep. Like that's a Check hard out. working brother. Absolutely. That's Absolutely, awesome, right? I love him, and it's a lot behind Kurt. Yeah, a lot oh behind him. Like it looks all fun oh and, and lovely right here. That brother got a but master's he degree. He has a no, master's he has degree. A master's he degree. works with autistic children. Yes. He's amazing. He's amazing. Wow. He's amazing. It looks fun online. We'll put y'all in touch. A lot of stuff. Yeah, a definitely. lot of stuff that make me like. Oh, right. no. What are you doing? But yeah. But definitely learn his story. Learn his story, and he runs that marathon. Yes, he does. He does. Absolutely. Seriously. Okay, <laughs> look, you see, you know, I told you. Yeah. yeah. So that was good information for up and coming artists. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so if yeah. you're, you know, you're an artist, artist that want to be involved, um, my um, my Instagram is is my name, Tatanisha underscore Harold. Um, my my phone number is 973-380-5118. It's on my social media. People be like, why are you giving out your phone number? I give out my phone number. I don't have nobody playing on my phone, though. That's cool. That's good. Right. Yeah. You go about your business. Otherwise, you know? my block list is crazy. Okay. <laughs> my friend just told me they should start charging you, girl. Feature, okay. Like, look. Because <laughs> calls right there, I just block everything. Yeah, everything. Right. 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 I'm like, who was it, by the way? And as far oh, as one eight one nine hundred, <laughs> right? But yeah, it was one of those. Yes. Okay. Nah. So, I have to speak the grace. <laughs> I was no. like. <laughs> <laughs> and they called a couple of times. And they called a few times. Like, Am I becoming Grace, a Grace, don't you want to talk to me, Grace? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
talking. As soon as I put the number up, I'm like, yo. <laughs> Internet is scary. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. And also, if you want to be um, an informational vendor um, with anything that that's great for the community, please, you're welcome to come out um, and talk. As a matter of fact, you can reach out to me at the number and the, uh, the information I gave you, and we can uh, look into you putting some information out there. Hey, Yvette. Shout out to Yvette. That's my co-worker. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> Um and, and it was something else that you could bring. Oh, we have barbers coming out as well. Oh, barbers coming out. You have barbers mm-hmm. coming out to give away free haircuts. So if you're a barber shop and you want to be a but what I need because most of the time when we do stuff like that, it's always like something for the guys or the young men, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Something for the young and men to come out and cut their hair for school and stuff. You said for the women. Yes, I need but something for the young ladies. I have someone for you. Uh, her name is Amina Green. She's a natural hair care stylist, and she's been doing some classes in um, the library in East Orange. Right. Mm-hmm. Teaching young girls how to do hair. Right. Like, you know, sometimes your mom ain't got time. Right. Like, you can do your friend's hair. Like, you know, so she, she might be somebody that... Amina Green. Doing that. Amina mm-hmm. Green. Yeah. I am Amina Green on Instagram. If you want to follow okay. her. Okay. I'll definitely follow her. I forget. You I am Amina know, Green. Mm-hmm. I definitely follow her as soon as yeah. we're done with She's this. She's down for stuff like that. Because and, and, and the thing about it is, like, say for instance, we had this in the in the North Ward. Yeah. You can't have what's in the North Ward, which is not as as equal to mm. what be in the each ward. So if if somebody like Amina came out yeah. and she did every ward, yeah. or if there yeah. was somebody else that was like her, right. and came out to right. do different wards, we would like that. But I can't have something where it's only it's in only this ward. In, yeah. Everybody has to get the same. I got you. you yeah, she I mean? definitely Thing. somebody to talk to. So so do you have do you have opportunities outside of North as well? Or? Yeah, actually, mm-hmm. um, I do. Um, in March, I actually I am I. Do uh, uh, South by Southwest, mm-hmm. so I actually have my own stages in South by Southwest in Texas. Mm-hmm. Also um, in Texas, yes. Um, I also do um, the A three C. It's all three coasts out in Atlanta. I've done, been doing that now for the past um, nine years. So I have my own stages out there as well. Sometimes it's a collaborative. Sometimes, most of the time, it's just me alone, which I like working like that because when I'm doing the collaboratives. And, and I try to bring somebody else on that just has little experience with it, it becomes rough. Mm-hmm. It's extremely rough. So if if I have support, that's one thing. But to be like, okay, we're about to partner up on this, mm-hmm. and this is the first girl, this is my first time, it, it didn't work out. So mm-hmm. I don't want to do that. <laughs> so what advice would you give to um, up-and-coming up artists looking for mentorship or management and things of that nature? So first of all, keep your eyes open. Mm-hmm. Because everybody's not for you and that's just giving it real I always ask them like do you want the good news first or the bad news first <laughs> give me the bad news so the yeah. good news make me feel better mm-hmm. right so like I, we've been bit before you know what I mean matter of fact I've been bit twice in wow. the beginning but you have to learn the hard way you have to learn times. you have to learn you have to learn to do your homework mm-hmm. everybody everything that, how they say everything that look good ain't good for you that's the truth like, everything that glitters ain't gold that's that Right. So, <laughs> and I'm talking about God, like had, mm-hmm. as far as financially, had, like it's like even with someone trying to sever the relationship, drive a wedge between the relationship between me and Jay Wonder, wow. because we, mm-hmm. you know, and and that's just being completely transparent. We were there where you know we were like this, and then all of a sudden somebody else called I, and it and it was me. It wasn't even at him that somebody brought in. It was me. Somebody approached us. At um, a Def Jam show, and they had like a whole slew of people that were with them for another artist that they were working with, and not listening to what people say because you always think that mm-hmm. somebody might say things to and it might them. to mm-hmm. sabotage a person is really not them. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So you got to learn for yourself. And there was I feel like I've always been I'm I'm the person that says things don't happen by chance. Mm-hmm. They happen because mm-hmm. that was already written mm-hmm. and it's supposed exactly. to happen, right. right? So I met this person. And this person took us through a whole nine months, wow. right? The wow. first month and a half was, like, so great. And then all of the signs started seeing, mm-hmm. like, I, I mean, and then I'm, I'm not even going to hold you. you so met, we, we, introduced, uh, we introduced us to some great people, mm-hmm. but he's also a name dropper, mm-hmm. right? Ooh, I can't stand, I can't name. stand I can't them people, stand right? Kind of but then there's, um, then Jay Wonder being a young artist, 
he and and you feeling like he doesn't have a father figure or something they like that. Advantage. You're trying yeah. to do that, and mm-hmm. you can't. That's like a woman at a car dealership. Right, <laughs> and then will swarm you like yeah. you're right. talking about. Right. So right. you want to try to be the father figure, and you cannot yeah. do that. And instead of and then now you don't know whether you want to be the father figure, the friend, <laughs> the co-manager. You don't know what you yeah. want, yeah. what mm-hmm. role you want to play. Much. You just know you want to mm-hmm. be involved. So when things didn't go your way, you start talking about, oh, well, he going to have to pay for it. You did all these things on your own. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then on top of that, you go behind my back and you started planting these seeds. Mm. Right? Wow. Of old things. And then he's coming back next to you. know, me and my son, he was like, Mom, you ain't tell me that. You know. And I'm sitting over here like, what is he talking about? He wasn't even around for the time. How do you even know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he did that. Like, we actually did not speak for, wow. like, maybe three months. And wow. that's a long time yeah. for a family that's, like... Yeah. So it's a lot of deception, Bob. Yeah, it's a oh, lot of deception. deception. A lot of deception. Because you see the movies where you see Industry people think... rule number 4,080, okay? Yeah. It's, they it's, think it's, they're getting this amount of money, and then oh, they got to pay all this. And yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's sad sometimes. Them 360 deals. Of, oh, my oh, God. Oh, my God. Oof. You say that, I'm like, heart just drops. Right. Like, please. Please right. be careful yeah. out here. And it's not even oh, just so much talent. The li- the, just the, the vocal artist. Mm-hmm. This hurts you as a producer. A producer. This hurts you yep. as a writer. Yep. This hurts you as a DJ. Yep. Yep. This hurts yep. you. Right? Yep. And a lot, I tell a lot of artists, like, you know, when you go into these studios, don't go into these studios not knowing your business. Mm-hmm. And there's no friends in this business. Mm-hmm. No friends. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, but that's my man. He mm-hmm. owned the studio. Bro, nah. if you're serious serious about what you're doing, and then things fall apart, you wind up losing your stuff. And if if ever there's a fallout, trust me, I know we've been there. We went. There was a love relationship when Jay Wonder first went in the studio. It's like, oh, it's his birthday, sixteen years old, first time <laughs> recording, band doing the stuff from scratch. But he helped mm-hmm. orchestrate that. Yeah, right. But in the end, because we didn't know completely the business, this person wound up getting signed. The but the producer got signed by a label. And then we, we went to get this song. Jay Wonder had this song called This Town. Mm-hmm. Right? It was an amazing song. They produced it and everything from from scratch, from the instruments. Not just sounds on the keyboard. Instruments. And they he helped arrangement and, and everything. At the end of the day, we can't even use that music right now. Because this person wound up getting signed later on. And then his manager turned around and was and started email. I was like, yeah, he's getting ready to do this concert for Relay for Life. And they was like, oh, you can't use that. Um, you need to pay us $500 for every song. I was like, whoa, whoa, wow. whoa, <laughs> whoa, bro. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what are you talking about here? And I'm like, wait. So And, it, and then wanted, wanted, wanted us to pay for his entire catalog mm-hmm. that he did there when it was never no money talked yeah. about in the yeah. beginning and this is a whole year before this guy even came to life you know what I mean yeah. so we wound up letting go of what he had because we didn't want for number one we didn't have the, the money to fight it mm-hmm. in court right right we didn't sign anything we didn't do that so now it's every time you you walking into the studio like I said there's no friends in this business definitely you yeah, walking into yeah. know your business when you're going into the business mm-hmm. I mean to the studio Split sheets. I, I, if I say split sheets to these artists now, they're like, "What is that?" <laughs> <laughs> split sheet. Oh, I ain't worried. I'm, I'm gonna do that when we, you know, before, when we get ready. No, 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 no. Know your business before you walk in here, and 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 stop going and and come in here, walk in here, get get you a hard drive, because now you go in here and these people have your masters. Mm. Now you gotta fight for mm. your stuff. Like, yeah, you gotta fight for it. Yeah, yeah. no, Wait. you're not. No, no. Know your business, and that that's the biggest thing because. And I, I put that out there first before anything else. You can ask me anything else after that. But know your business because I know that we got bit that way. Jay Wonder lost a lot of music in the mm-hmm. beginning. Mm-hmm. A lot. So we're going to go on to break with those jewels. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for that. All right. Another track? Yeah, we'll, we'll put another track on. on during what break. you got? Uh, what you got? You pick. Solace? Solace, yeah. Solace? Is that ah, yeah. Okay. I'm going with it. Let's get it. All right.
Thanks for tuning in. Today I have guest Tatiana Harrell. Tatanisha. Tat- I'm sorry. Tatanisha Harrell. I need to write myself. Okay. Right. Tatanisha <laughs> Harrell. And she's an artist manager. Yes. And she was talking about managing artists and the up and coming events that she had, which was. Yes. So, again, I have Positive Music Matters in August. Mm-hmm. I'm also um, working on, uh, along with the. Uh, Gwen Moten, the community of one of the community events that are surrounding the VMAs. Shout to Newark. Yeah. <laughs> we have the VMAs coming August the 26th. August the 26th. Yes. We need an assistant. We need an assistant. I hold bags. <laughs> you know, I grab shoes. Whatever I need. You know, just mm-hmm. let me know. I'm a go getter. Okay? I'll be there too. You need help? So. Okay. Hey. You need me? I'm Tell me. Get out of here. Okay? I'm trying to get this job. <laughs> <laughs> So we got a lot I'm in the building too. So. I, I, I also have a secret project, but I can't let anybody know until Tuesday. Yeah. So, so really congratulations. Thank you. We're excited for her. Thank Yay. you. Thank excited. you. So when we start dropping, I can't tell because I don't want people running down on you, me too. You, <laughs> no, I'm dead. So I ain't you, even laughing. You better be so serious. I'm, I'm so serious. I'm Your not phone even gonna blow all the way off that table. Like, oh, you know, y'all don't even call me now. My phone right. is dry. Right. I'm like, right. 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 Phone dry. <laughs> Dry, dry, like me dry like those worms outside in this hundred degree weather. Right. Like yeah, right. yeah. Now my phone won't blow up, oh, so yeah. I'm not even. My brother, it's like coming. Tone, just said to me, he was like, so I told him last night. He was like, sis, I'm telling you right now, you better not tell nobody. Look, look, see, the, the only people know, know is the team. team. No, they just know what's happening. That's my right. brother. Shout to Tone. <laughs> so tell me about the citywide women's meeting that you have in July. Citywide. Women's meeting, shout to Natasha Allen. Um, uh, I attended the first citywide women's meeting last month, and it was amazing because the owner of uh, Adina that owned um, IHOP, she actually was the keynote speaker. Oh, okay. Crazy, amazing. Mm-hmm. Like, just to try to get to open. There was a lot of information. So, um, for her, even for us as women, trying to open these big businesses. So that's what it's yeah. based on. on yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah, say it again. Is, is it entrepreneurial event for women? Yeah, well, no, it's just a women's. It's a lot of information for women. It's not just entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. It's just a lot of things. Like this time, um, what I learned from the last meeting is that we're we're gonna do, talk about financial literacy. Oh wow! Yeah, they so, need classes like that. Yeah, in the community. so but it, the mayor's meet the I mean the mayor's men's meeting is always so packed. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. it's always so packed. Yeah. It it's amazing. Like you get all of these different, this different information and all that. I, I I tune in live and I watch when when they're they're, they're filming it live because of course me as a woman I'm not right. going to show up at a men's meeting. Right, right. But the women really should be in the mayor. That's the one power one. Mm-hmm. Yes, he comes and he speaks at this meeting as well. But need to, and when I was there last month, I was just I was so taken. I was I was sad mm-hmm. because you literally can count how many women were in the room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When it should be an overflow of women, it should be in, the, in this room. So is it open to the community? It's open to the so community. Anybody can come. I'm definitely yes. gonna be there. I share. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's August the 25th. In the council chambers. So, ladies, if you are looking, if you check looking, it out, you're listening. Mm-hmm. Please make sure you are there. Jot this down in your calendar the same way you jot down that date with that corny <laughs> dude. <laughs> please, <laughs> please make it your business. Everybody that ran out to check. Oh my God, lion is can't, lion can't coming out Friday. Right, right, right. You need to put be this putting calendar. this down in your calendars. Lock yes. it down in your calendars. And if you got anything. I don't care if, if you got any anything that you you might want to learn. Mm-hmm. You need to show up to this women's meeting. Yes, definitely. Shout out to Raj Day Baraka for that. Yes, information. Financial literacy. That's amazing. Let me tell you, right? Mm-hmm. I always say this, right? People like, oh, they try to hoard it. Information is not mine to keep. Right. It's for me to share. It ain't mine, for real. Mm-hmm. So if if I got some information that I need to be sharing, I don't care. I see Ebony. Hi, Ebony. If you guys are coming from the shore, I don't care where you coming from. 
come out to the because I don't know any other communities that are doing that. Mm-hmm. I don't. I'm going to put it on my page actually. Today. Yeah, I'm please. Put it on my page. I don't know. And once I post this after the show, you should share it. Everyone should share this. Mm-hmm. Um, July 25th at 920 Broad Street in the Council Chambers, North City Hall, women's meeting. Women, come out. Show up for this meeting, ladies. It, it's it's a lot of you 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 will be you wouldn't be upset that you showed up. Mm-hmm. So who are some of the other keynote speakers? Oh, I don't know who's speaking this time. Ooh, mm-hmm. I don't know who's speaking this time. I know that that's what we're speaking about this time. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, uh, outside a few other things, but um, but I know that last one she was the main speaker for that. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Definitely, I'm definitely yeah. going to share that because I'm happy that we have something like that in the community. We need something like that, you know. Yeah. And Christmas. the thing about it, you know, what, what's sickening to me? Like, I I lived in Newark years ago. Mm-hmm. I I no longer live in Newark, but my heart is in Newark, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, I I met the mayor when he was a teacher. He was like 24, and I always thought he was so dope, mm-hmm. just as a person. Yeah. Like I didn't, I wasn't familiar with the family or anything. I mean, now I am. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm not a I'm not a political person, right. not even a mm-hmm. little bit. Right, right. 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 I had to read was about amazing. him after I found out that was his right, father. Right. Was it, wasn't that amazing? But it was amazing. <laughs> but I'm an emotional right. person, so I yeah. cry about everything. <laughs> mm-hmm. But my grandmother learn, was in love with him too. Like to, yeah, yeah, was to learn the things that I learned about him, even outside the person that I know, mm-hmm. I knew. Yeah. I just think he's so amazing, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And I don't live there. I can't vote there. I live in Montclair, right? right? And be, you would be surprised because I'm always in Newark. Yeah. If you ask me what's going on in Montclair, I promise you I can't tell you. <laughs> I came off my block yeah, no one shame, day. They were having a some type of vending event or yeah. whatever. And I'm like, what is this? I'm in an Uber. <laughs> like, what is this? And I, I don't even know. My daughters can tell me, hey, you know they got a farmer's market here every Saturday, and I live right <laughs> there. You don't know anything but about But I could care less because <laughs> I'm, I'm the same way. I'm North. the same way. I'm in Newark <laughs> every day. Everything I do is in Newark. Yeah. I spend a night in Newark on yeah. purpose. Okay? <laughs> Okay, I pack a bag. My kids be like, "You're not staying in the night, nah." Because right now I'm looking for an apartment. <laughs> it's, it's where your heart is. It's where you, you know, That's where my heart where is. Where you grew up, uh huh. Right. So you feel like years ago I felt like you was running away, but now I, you know, you know what's going on here mm-hmm. and what this is truly about, and learning the things. I, this was a learning experience yeah. for me. Shout out to Alexis Trusty. My feelings was hurt and everything like that, but I swear that if it wasn't for her. I probably wouldn't even been in like doing run, being on a Baraka train and yeah. things like like yeah. being in, involved like that. Would I be able to get plugged in? Yeah. All right. Yeah. They, 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 he needs all the support he can get. Mm-hmm. Positive support. Right. Because you got I sit here and I and watch all these the negative things yeah. that people There's try to negative, say negative and I'm like I don't see that person. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't see the things that people are saying. Like these people you people do when they say I always be like people don't have haters. Mm. I really see now oh, people yeah. really do have haters. Oh, yeah. They do. They mm-hmm. really so people will run off of stuff that they don't even know. Like just people saying stuff they're like, Oh, okay, I've heard of, like ten people said that. So yeah, that's what it is. Right. And then they sit here and they say stuff when like, Oh, it's it. nothing happening in North, there's nothing for the kids. No, get off your porch. Stop expecting people to come and knock on your door and, and well, put and the thing in your living room and come out. Mm-hmm. The man is and come alive. out. He's and don't alive. just so come alive. out when the when they got free events for you to be able to eat. <laughs> or a place for you to leave your kids yeah, while you support. sit in the house. Farmers market come on Thursdays in uh, mil- uh, not mil- is it military, military park? park. Military, military park. It's a lot. It's of a things. lot of things. It's going a lot on. of things lot. going on in North. Mm-hmm. This mayor that you guys have is doing a phenomenal job, a f- amazing job. I'm mm-hmm. not from North. I never even lived in North. Right. When I tell you, North is one of my favorite cities in the world. In the world, and mm-hmm. I've been I've been a few places. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite cities is North New Jersey, no. and it's because of community. It's because of people like her the, mm-hmm. and people who will move come out of the city, but then come back to do for the city. Right. right. That says a lot about your city. That's yeah. my you have story. a lot of people that yeah. mm-hmm. are will t- will do that. Mm-hmm. Come on now, that's got to be saying something. It, what, it what, says we a lot. Right. what we doing? What we doing? <laughs> it says a lot. It says a lot. I like lot. it here. I'm not afraid yeah. to be here. I don't see the things that people see. I get offended I when people be like, hey, right, or but like, What's yeah, right. somebody, What's I'm mm-hmm. somebody that is everywhere. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. I go to different states. Somebody said, I was talking to a guy the other day, and he was like, Yeah, but you know, this mayor, his problem is he don't have clout outside of New York. They're not talking. I said, What the heck what are, are you, you talking, talking about? about? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, I'm at places, and they're like, Oh, you from North? I, it's crazy because you. 
you, if I'd be like, I'm from Montclair, I'm like, oh, what's that? Right. So, no, I, yeah, I'm North. North. That's right. And they'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm from, <laughs> from Ava <laughs> Avenue. I'm from here. Like how Whitney had old boy came up to her you know and said, right, right. Like that. And people come up and they be like, oh, you're from is. North? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that mayor, he's doing a great job. Right. And these are people that are not like us. Right. Mm-hmm. These are people that are not like right. us that are talking about this city and the great things that this mayor is doing. In the town that I live in, they talk about about Mayor Baraka. They talk Love about him. him. They, talk, they him. talk about him. Because like you know I don't see I live there. I don't see all the things. Yeah, I don't hear probably. hear those things. My kids went they're, to school there. viewers. They're like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um my kids my kid I was involved very involved in school. Always been involved in my in my kids um schooling. I mean my kids are grown now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm a whole forty six years old with four grown children. Well, I'm lying. Turn the microphone on lying. I'm forty seven in October girl. Yeah. I got a twenty nine year old sure, I have a twenty seven year old, a twenty four year old and my baby girl is twenty and I'm a grandmother of three. Get your life. Yeah. 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 That's, that's, so you look that's good. Good. you do. Thank you, you ladies. Do. Yes. You you, like, and that's a, that is just your spirit be moving out here in these yeah, streets. Like, thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you was thank a slouch, you. you be out here looking like a slouch. Right. Yeah, you don't that's look right, like a slouch. Right. Like, and this is the real me. Yeah. All day, every oh, day. Like I come in and I'm like, yes. Yeah, so how you? Yeah. So what's right? Uh, so what's good? It's like, very little you gonna get of that. <laughs> so yeah, that's coming in the door. Always. That's those shoes that you walk in the door. And you, they was only for you to enter in. Yeah. And then they the heels they be tied on. <laughs> right. the, you take them off once you made the entrance and got the pictures. Uh-huh. Yeah, you take got the off. pictures. And that's yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That. Right. <laughs> so oh, tell me, man. I know I got the hookup just came out. Oh, yeah. And I saw you in a picture with um, Fat Boy SSC. Fat Boy SSC. Um, I got a picture, and it's the second picture is me and Master P. I look crazy in that picture, so I'm glad nobody remembers it. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna but, show that one. We'll let them follow you for that. So one. right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you for mentioning that. Um, a lot of the the events that I do, um, like I said. I have a problem with that. Like, mm-hmm. if you come and be like, hey, Tatanisha, um, you want to volunteer for her? Sure. I'm like, sure. And I'll Even be working you... so hard, you're thinking I'm getting a check. Exactly. <laughs> now, and when I tell people I'm not getting paid for half the stuff that I do, they be like, she's lying. She's just trying to get some. No. no that, I did Passion. not get paid. Anybody that knows that yeah. event. Know that I was over there securing the hell out of Master P. They said, Talk to Nisha. When they came in there and said, Okay, so where do you want to be? Where do you want to be? Where do you want to be? Yeah. And what's funny is, excuse me, what's funny is every, mostly every other event that I do, if it's artist based mm-hmm. and there's a celebrity, they always say Tatanisha's hand on the mm. celebrity. Well, so they have you doing mm-hmm. it. Yeah, because that's what you did. Yeah. Your background. Yeah. And I, I, that feels really good. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. feels good because you could have picked anybody that right. was sitting there and you chose you're, me. You're, mm-hmm. you, you don't move with, um, I forget, opportuni- opportunistic intent. Right. Intentions. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if some folks you put in the room with somebody, you like, look, you just, you just, you just out here. yourself. <laughs> right. You wasn't even trying to do this for us. Right. Like. She's, she's not, not that you person. Can tell her she's not to those people heart. that select me yeah. for to doing those things will, all the time. Those will they be bringing that to the North Film Festival by chance? That would be really awesome if you could like maybe try to try to ask them. I would love to like. I did a projection last year uh-huh. with the North Film Festival, which I, I'm a big volunteer too. Like I will do whatever, mm-hmm. okay? Because I I like to be involved and media is my thing. I would love to, to project and put that actually on the big screen and have them come to to I've bring got that movie. Go. I would love them to bring that to New Really? Movie. Really? Absolutely. For the film festival with Fat Boy, come on. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was dope. epic. I think it was just a dope mm-hmm. move for yeah. him to make. Yeah. And he stayed all the way to the end of the premiere. I'm not asking for Fat yeah. Boy to even come. I, I just want to premiere it in his city. Show. I did try to get him. In the film festival. I think it would be awesome to premiere it in the city. Because it, 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 mm-hmm. it went movie theater and video to the, uh, on demand, right? VOD. So it's like right now it's available for everybody to watch it. Right. So, right, come on, you got the juice. I was just upset. You got that the hookup. Every, yeah, <laughs> I was just upset that that not enough people came out in the yeah. theater premiere. So, yeah. Like we had two theaters and you filled just the one. Really? And we had the overflow theater and no one, no one? was a in lot. there. You know I, what I think it is? I think a lot, some people. 
probably weren't aware of it. And maybe that, that could have been, been that could it. Been yeah, it. that could have been. Because I know I, I was aware I wasn't here too. though. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. know. So I, I mean, that is something that we we have to work, work on promoting is and promoting things, mm-hmm. and and that's I think we're learning that too, though. Yeah, we are. Because mm-hmm. I know this, we're talented. We're very talented in the yeah. city and in surrounding cities. But there's one thing we we need to learn is the business of it and the marketing yeah. of it. There's a big we have to marketing is and even North Film Festival to be very honest. And I love my guy Kenny. He's doing great and wonderful things. Kenny's doing great. Yes, we need to move it. It's international. We need, mm-hmm. to, you know, so it needs right. bigger legs. It's growing each year. It gets bigger and and, bigger and, and bigger. it was inducted into the the uh, MPA. So oh, wow. yeah. So then yeah, yeah. So we're getting there. Yeah, we. Definitely. I think as a people, we need to start helping that too. Uh, absolutely, because you, know? you know, doing our parts. We know mm-hmm. about it, right? So yeah. we should, you know, we should. Newark do that. is doing big, big things, Major. and the people in it Major. are amazing. Like I made the. I said, our mayor. <laughs> our mayor. <Yeah. laughs> He's amazing, but he wouldn't be as amazing as he is without the support that he Absolutely. has. Absolutely. You need the and support. It so, the people. yeah, it definitely starts with the people. And we need some more of you to That's right. jump to on the bandwagon. <laughs> Stop trying to knock people. But, yeah. You ain't going to get nowhere like that, y'all. Yeah, definitely. We never definitely. Like if you can't beat them because you're not, yeah, you won't. You, you won't. might as well just join, just join them. <laughs> <laughs> and ask him for what you want, too. Ask him for what you, know, you want. Talk he is approachable. Yeah. You talk about it instead of coming to these 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 meetings trying to come with your with your bats ready <laughs> come over here and be like hey what is what it that yeah what can, what I, can do? I do here, and and, and, here's my and he has a problem here's my th- things. you come with all of the problems yeah. Yeah. and you don't, you don't have, have no solutions, no solutions. Mm-hmm. and then if you do have a problem and you think that you know what you're talking about i sat there and listened to this yeah. one lady and she had all it at the women's meeting <laughs> she came she was Talk to talk, 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 talk. to take the, the mic problems. from her because you're just no. talking and you don't even know what you 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 came here not to get information. Yeah, you came, came here, here not to be involved. Fight. You came here to act like this was a council meeting and bash people. Mm. And you need to get your light. Yep. Yeah, and those are the time ones. Time and place, people. Time yeah. and place. Yeah, time and place. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. yeah. we gonna get y'all together. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, thanks for coming on the awesome. show. No, thank you so thank much, you guys, for having me. And thank we, I um wanted to ask you before we leave. Uh, do you have any advice for up and coming artists that you want to give on your own? Things that you want to tell them? Hmm. Stop dropping all this music back to back like that. <laughs> <laughs> Stop dropping all that music back to back like that. Let them get used to the one that you got running already and go with it. Promote it. Do some videos. Promote it. Because you guys are out here and you're like, okay, I'm about to drop another song next week. And nobody even got the the first first one. (laughs) Yo, they had to tell Lil Nas X to stop promoting Old Town Road. Really? That's how much he's promoting he promoted that song. The heck he promoted, out of he promoted the heck out of that song. You know, he paid he thirty dollars everywhere. Thirty dollars he paid for that beat that he got. That song for seven. Thirty. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and he promoted the hell out of it. His label said, "I need you to stop. We have to move on to the next yeah, one. Yeah, move on to the next one. Because we want, we want more of you. Mm-hmm. And the next one is hot. It's hot. It's fire. Yeah, it's fire. yeah it is. It's, it's fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's doing. But they like really the have to tell us to move on. So that's a that's a great piece of it's advice. Yeah, that it is. Promote that. that promote. To, to, promote. To, to Billy Cyrus. Right, right, <laughs> right. And is. the thing is, you got to keep in mind, you are a local artist. Yeah. The people. That are rooting for you. Yeah. Is your grandmother. She mm-hmm. in the next room. <laughs> the people next door. Yep. Your mans that live down yep. the street. Your boy. That's all. Those are the people that know you. Get these people to get. get try to leave from where you're. From where you are. Leave from where you are. Perform somewhere else. Get your music somewhere else. Promote yourselves. And I understand that artists are afraid to use their. To spend their money. But do your homework before you go out. Before you. You know. Because people out here. They try to capitalize off your hunger. Everybody's not trying to do it. But there are people that are out there trying to do it. Just do your homework before you jump on these things. And some of these events that you're jumping on is meaningless as well. And then you got those ones that really are. I have artists that. I had this event. That I actually was paying artists to perform. Wow. Right? And then when I came right after that with a tour from David L. Shout out to David L. With um, um, Sony Orchard. Mm-hmm. And he had all these other, you know, different things that was coming to this tour. And then when you were told you had to pay a hundred dollars to enter it, they was like, "Oh, I ain't trying to do that. I'm trying to get paid. Right. How you gonna get paid? No one might even know you." Right. No so one you knows. Have to build the cloud first. I thought, I, I thought 2019 it was different. 
That's why I got out of there. That's why I got out of there. Can't do it no more. No, that's, and it's sad. It, unfortunately, you you can't get on the way you did. Talent got you on. Talent got you on. What my girl uh, Queen Latifah said in juice. You just local. Like just local. <laughs> you're just local. <laughs> it's no offense, but it's just. And he's like, I'm the hottest ever. <laughs> you yeah, you the hottest right here, right here. on your block. On this block. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you not the hottest <laughs> over there. Yeah, right. They don't even know you over yeah, there. Don't know and network. Got, and please, artists. You are a business. You are a business. Hear me? A business. Please, number one, stop sending me to go follow somebody. <laughs> and then I go to their page. And they got their page private. Too How funny. are you a business? Yeah, right. And the page is private. Mm-hmm. I, I see that all the time. I love it. I mean, get your, get, yeah. get your mind right. <laughs> She's dropping gems, y'all. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. On that note, we have to end. So tune in every Saturday at 6 p.m. Indie Dreams. And uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Tatanisha, Harold. All right, y'all. All right, see you later. Peace. Bye. Bye.